Starting out this uh, workout with pull-ups. <laughs> we did an outer, an inner, and like a standard shoulder width grip. And just focusing on the biceps, not going down all the way to engage the old lats. So the pull-ups and right here, the straight bar curls, actually hits both heads of the bicep, which is why it's such a mass building exercise. My turn already. <laughs> So you can use the straight bar like we are here, or use, you know, some dumbbells. Either way, it's building some old mass. We kind of went as heavy as will allow us for six to eight reps. And biceps, just like any other muscle, where you want to do the lower reps with heavy weight, feels weird not to do, you know, 12 reps, at least for us. But we kept it to six to eight. All right, so next, <laughs> we accidentally, uh, Added on picture mode instead of video, but what we did was incline dumbbell curls, and once again we went pretty heavy just to allow ourselves to get around six to eight, and it's pretty nice because we could spot it really well or really easily. All right, next up, we kind of did a low row machine here, but we did our own kind of use our own knees for our own preacher curl, and it was actually surprisingly good. You can feel the stretch all the way at the bottom, and whatnot, and you know. I don't know what else to say about this. You just go ahead and do it. <laughs> it's a pretty uh, innovative exercise because it's on a low row machine, but we think outside the box. Uh, the next <laughs> clip of mine, it's only a couple seconds long because uh, I forgot to hit record, but got the last struggling rep. Yeah, and then here we went, we didn't want to do all mass, like we want to do some hypertrophy, so we added in this machine's called the Bicillator. It's kind of like incline curl machine, and believe me, that weight's pretty heavy. It doesn't look like much, but <laughs> you know, you could use dumbbells and incline if you don't have this machine, but it works out pretty well. I'm struggling real hard here. Yeah, if you don't get the reference from Bicelator, it's a very good isolator. So <clears throat> it keeps really strict form, which is why you really can't use a whole lot of weight, especially when you're tired at the end. But we do this before we hit, I'll speak a little early, a hammer curl exercise. And the reason why you do hammer curls is... Well, you gotta hit that old brick, brachialis, which is the side of the arm there. You'll be seeing this next one. We already finished all our sets, but I wanted to get it on camera just to show what we're doing. This is kind of a triple drop set, I guess. And we're just using the hammer grip on the rope curls to finish off the workout and I like to do hammer last because you really tire out your forearms also which will lead to worse grip or whatever. And that finished our bi workout then we went ahead and did some calves but if you want to put on some mass you better do this workout. Yep so go ahead and give it a try. When you're in a surplus of calories it's gonna be easier to put on muscle mass but at the same time, you're going to be putting on more fat. So you can actually gain muscle faster, but at the same time, you're going to get fatter. Yeah, there's basically 